Hello students. Today in your algebra class, you're going to be working on factoring to solve quadratic equations using what's called the zero product property. Before we begin, let's try having you work on a couple quick warm-up problems. Just one to factor these two items. Hopefully you've paused your screen and are just checking your answers now. now because we used the Xbox method, we know that these two answers should be x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 6. For number 2, because it's a difference of two squares, or because you used the x-box method, we got you should have gotten x minus 9 times the quantity x plus 9. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve quadratic equations. So, the zero product property, just to explain, states that for every real number a and b, if a, b equals zero, then a equals zero, or b equals zero. For example, if we have the quantity of x plus three times the quantity of x plus two equals zero, then that means that x plus three has to be zero, or x plus 2 has to be 0 because 0 times any number should be equal to 0. So the way that we do that is by first factoring. So for example 1, we're going to factor. So for example 1, if you factor, you would have gotten b plus 4, the quantity b plus 4, times the quantity b minus 1 equals 0. And again, because of the zero product property, you would have gotten two things. You would have gotten b plus 4 equals 0, and b minus 1 equals 0. So now we have two different equations that we need to solve for. So we're going to solve for the one on the left and subtract 4 to both sides. One of your answers is b equals negative 4. For the second answer, we're going to subtract 1 to both sides. And I'm sorry, we're going to add 1 to both sides. And we're left with b is equal to 1. So here are your two solutions b equals 1 and b equals negative 4. Pretty simple, right? Example 2, slightly more spicy. What we want to do is it's called the zero product property which means that it has to be equal to zero. Clearly number example two is not, so we're going to add five to both sides, and we would get three q squared plus sixteen q plus five equals zero. So now we're supposed to factor that that would be 3q plus 1 and q plus 5 equals 0. So now we just, from here, we use zero product property and say that each one is equal to 0. So 3q plus 1 equals 0, and q plus 5 equals 0. So when we solve, this first one, we're going to subtract 5 to both sides. We're left with q equals negative 5. And for the one on the left, we're going to subtract 1 and divide 3 to both sides, and we would get q equals negative 1 third. Example 3, it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. Remember, we need to get it equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 6n to both sides. We get n squared minus 6n equals 0. I'm going to move this over so it's a little bit easier to see. Now you'll notice on the left hand side they both have an n. So I'm going to factor an n out of both of them. And we're left with n times the quantity n minus 6 equals 0. So remember, we're multiplying two things, n and n minus 6, and somehow it's equal to 0. So we'll do our typical branching, n equals 0, 
and n minus 6 equals 0. So obviously this one is already solved for, so we're done with that. This one we have to add 6 to both sides and we're left with n equals 6 as our second root or solution or 0. Last but most certainly not least is example 4. So I'm going to move that up so it's easier to see. Now here we need to add 15 to both sides. And we're left with x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. And when we factor this, we should get x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 5 equals 0. And then again, using branching, or because of the zero product property, we have x We have x plus 3 equals 0, then we have x plus 5 equals 0. So we're going to subtract 3 to both sides. We're left with x equals negative 3. This we're going to subtract 5 to both sides, and we're going to be left with x equals negative 5. Now it's your turn. Try solving these three problems and adding them onto your notes. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.